Hey friends, Ryan the Stranger with the Monday Word, and my Monday Word for you is become convinced of His goodness. I want to talk you into believing that God is outrageously good. I want you to believe that God is so good, He'll answer your prayers, that God is so good, He'll change your life, that God is so good, He'll empower you to face adversity, that God is so good, He'll speak and give you future directions, that God is so good, He'll save your unsaved loved ones, that God is so good, He'll prosper you economically, that God is so good, He'll heal your your body. And I want you to know that God is so good. He calls you good. And I want to prove it to you in the word of God, because a lot of you, the devil's been pounding you, beating you up, telling you why you can't work for God, why you're not a son of God, a daughter of God, why prayer won't work, why faith must be abandoned, why this whole thing is going to pot that you might as well just give up. But that's not what the Bible says. In Genesis chapter one, verse 10, God called the dry land earth and the waters that were gathered together and the seas. And God saw that it was good. Genesis 1:31. And God saw everything he made and behold it was very good. First of all, I want you to know that God does not make any junk. And the Bible says when he looked at the sea, he looked at the earth, he saw it was good. Now that's applicable to you because in Genesis 2:7, the Lord formed man of the dust of the earth. So we're created from that same earth God called good. And he breathed into his nostrils and the, the breath of life and man became a living soul. Not only is God good, not only does God call his creation good, but God calls you good. Why? Because you're made in the image and the likeness of God. So I want you to understand God is good. In Psalm 16 too, every good thing I have comes from you. This is what the psalmist said. And you need to begin to say, God, every good, every good blessing comes from you. Life comes from you. Breath comes from you. Health comes from you. My family comes from you. My job comes from you. I call it good, Lord. James 1, 17, every good gift, every perfect gift is from above coming from the Father of light. Listen, God has nothing bad for you. Now, you might not always like what God's doing in your life. It may not always be comfortable, but you need to learn to call it good. God, this lesson is good. God, this season is good. God, this, this, this experience is good. It may not feel good, but I trust in your goodness. When you begin to praise God for his goodness, it causes a release of the goodness of God. Do not underestimate the power of the goodness of God. And I want you to know that God does not make any single human being anything less than good. God has called your life good. God has called your destiny good. Now we can mess it up. We can choose not to obey God. We can choose to listen to the voice of fear. We can choose to listen to the voice of the enemy. So I want you to pause today and I want you to get two things in your spirit. Number one, that because God created you, just like he called the earth good, he calls you good. Your destiny good, your personality good, your life's good. This doesn't mean there might not be areas of you God's working on. There might not be things that need to be surrendered to the cross. But at your core, God looks at you and says, I see my goodness in them. I see a reflection of myself. And secondly, I want you to begin to focus on the goodness of God in your life. And you might say, but Ryan, you don't know what's going on in my life. I understand that. But understand this, even in the midst of the greatest trial, if you'll stop and give God worship and praise, he will enlighten you and strengthen you that you can get through this thing and come out on the other side saying, God has been good to me. He is good. And I want you to be convinced, resolute, assured of the everlasting, super abundant and radical goodness of God. So Father, I thank you today for your goodness. We call you good. We thank you, Lord, that because you've created us, that we can be called good, that our plans are good, that our purposes are good, that our lives are good. And Lord, even the challenges right now that we don't understand, the mysteries, the things that you're not speaking to us about, that we're on pause. Lord, we just call it good. We call the season of waiting good. We call the season of abundance good. We call the season of trusting you good. We call the misunderstanding good. We call the day good and we call the night good. Father, we thank you that it's good because you created it and we continue to focus in the midst of anything going on in our, li our lives on your goodness, Lord. And I pray today for a supernatural confirmation and assurance of your goodness for the lives of my friends. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.